first time in week, traffic in the northbound lane seems to be running pretty smoothly at this hour. About 7.45 tonight, NDOT announced that crews were working to reopen those lanes. As News 18 has been reporting, the northbound lanes originally closed on August 4th when crews noticed unusual movement and sagging. It opened soon after, but closed again on the 7th when crews noticed that a bridge pier sank several inches. It all started when crews installed steel piers to widen existing piers as part of the construction to make I-65 three lanes throughout Tippecanoe County. Structural engineers believe sand and water bubbled up from under the bridge pier, causing it to tilt. Walsh Construction has stabilized the bridge pier with a process involving steel casings and micro piles. The Federal Highway Administration and engineering consultants have inspected the bridge to make sure it is safe. As far as the detour, technicians will restore signal times as traffic patterns return to normal. Temporary lights at US 231 and State Road 28 and US 52 and State Road 47 will remain in place until NDOT can conduct a new engineering study. Also, planned lane closures for I-65 in Tippecanoe County as part of that construction to make I-65 three lanes in each direction will continue. So that's definitely something drivers want to keep in mind if they're traveling on I-65 at night. Reporting live in Lafayette, Brittany Tyner, News 18.